Okay, so this is a follow-up video to the one I had just put out before the weekend. As the individual whose emails prompted that video still just doesn't get it. Saying that I was exalting playing video games and activities that were a drain upon society, which completely missed the point. I used those extreme examples of a child and your stereotypical slacker earning money off what they like to do to eliminate any excuse that one may have. Those were examples. I was not saying that you need to go out and play video games. I also used an example of cooking. It was completely taken out of context. He also went into how he does not enjoy the work that he does, but he's proud of the work that he does because it's the dirty work that needs to get done within society. Which again, I'm not crapping on essential services, but the fact that you don't enjoy your job and you're proud of your job at the same time is an internal conflict. And it's this internal conflict that brings about the perspective that you have that money is based upon a lack of resources and you have a resentment and contempt for those who are earning money doing what they love to do or who you feel are not working as hard as you. Now, I enjoy helping people immensely, but what I won't do is go back and forth with an individual who wants to debate me, argue with me, and not listen in general. And I'm only posting this here as a lesson to the rest of you. As an example of what I said quite a while ago of why you cannot make someone listen to you. Why you cannot force your ideas upon people. You cannot grab them, shake them, and make them listen. They will resist. Most people do not want to learn but instead seek validation of their own ideas, even though those ideas are not bringing them the results that they want. So it's typically at this point where I cut people loose and say that I just cannot help them because it's very much like someone who doesn't know how to swim and they're drowning and you try to save that drowning person and they're going to fight tooth and nail to drag you down with them. Sometimes you have to let the person drown. Because it's a waste of time. When I could be helping others. Who do want to learn and listen to what I have to say. And typically when I point out to a person who wants to debate and argue with me. That they're not only wasting my time. But also wasting their own time as well. They typically go away at that point, voluntarily. But in this case, I have emails aplenty waiting for me in my inbox, which I'm not even going to bother with at this point. I don't force what I have to say and what I teach upon people. They either come to me and listen and heed the advice, or they don't. I am not out to prove anything to you. You're the one that needs to prove them to yourself. And if you decide not to, that's fine too.